In this video, we want to find the limit as x approaches infinity of x raised to the sine of 1 over x power. So let's first rewrite x to the sine power as e to the natural log of that. And this limit now can go um, in the exponent. So that's going to be e to the limit as x approaches infinity of natural log x raised to the sine of 1 over x. And so we're going to use the log property where we bring the exponent down. So the sine of 1 over x comes down. And then we have natural log x. Now as x approaches infinity, we have 0 times infinity. So that's not going to work. So instead, what we're going to do is uh, divide sine 1 over x with 1 over x and divide natural log of x with x. I'm allowed to do that because these x's can cancel. So I didn't really change anything. Okay, Now I can break this up into two separate limits. And notice that for the first limit, I get 0 over 0. And the second limit, I get infinity over infinity. So those are uh, candidates to use L'Hopital's rule. So let's do the first one. Or I guess let's do the second limit. The derivative natural log of x is 1 over x. The derivative of x is 1. So we have 1 over x there. And as x approaches infinity, that goes to 0. Now for the first limit, uh, you could do L'Hopital's rule. But what, instead what I did, uh, I used a substitution. So if I let u equal 1 over x, as x approaches infinity, u approaches 0. So I'm just going to rewrite this limit in terms of u. So u approaches 0, sine u over u. We know that's just going to be 1. So that's a common limit that we should have memorized. So the first limit is 1, second limit is 0. 1 times 0 is going to give us 0. We have e to the 0, and that's going to be 1. So that's going to be our final answer.